Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. So today we have a Xantrex solar inverter. And this one, as you can see on the screen, is coming up with inverter offline. Now, inverter offline means exactly what you think it was. Uh, it means the inverter's offline. It means the system's not actually producing any power right now. And so if you've got a nice sunny day and it's coming up with offline like this, then you've got a problem with the system. For some reason, it's coming up with that fault, inverter offline, and uh, you need to try and work out what's going on. So inverter offline is always a problem on the DC side. It means it's, uh, it's having problems with the power from the solar panels. So uh, the first thing to check will be the DC switch at the inverter to make sure that's in the on position. So you can see that's in the uh, the switches are up in the up there. That's off there there with, the, and that's on up there. So that's definitely on. And also the plugs where it goes into the inverter. So you make sure they're in nice and tightly. And if they're all all looking good and you've got a nice sunny day and still you got inverter offline like we have here you are going to require the assistance of an accredited solar electrician. They're going to have to work out why uh, you, you're getting this issue and just check that you are actually getting DC power from the solar panels. And um, if you are getting DC solar panel, power to the panels, or from the panel, sorry, to the inverter, and you're still getting the inverter offline issue, then it sounds like it's an internal fault with the inverter. And uh, if you are not getting power to the, from the solar panels to the inverter, well, it's working out back through the line where the actual problem is. So um, with Xantrex inverters, if you do have a, it, it ends up being a warranty claim, you will need the model number and serial number of the inverter, which can be found just down here. We can see here we've got our model number GT 2.8, and then we've got the serial number just underneath it there and the date of manufacture under there. These inverters usually come with, well, do come with a five year warranty. So if it was installed in the last five years, it will be something which you covered under warranty if it is an internal inverter issue. But you will have to get a solar accredited electrician to have a look at the system and work out exactly what the problem is in the first place before you go down that line. So if you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland, you've got a problem like this with your Xantrex inverter, feel free to give Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions a call. We can certainly help. Uh, if you're somewhere else around the uh, around Australia, well then uh, I'd recommend talking to a local solar accredited electrician. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.